Good afternoon. It's another day in paradise. This is the eighth wonder of the world. Introducing compound interest. Welcome, stock market investors. Today's episode is going to be on the cannabis sector. I'm going to give you guys five cannabis companies that I plan on investing and I currently own one of them. But before I jump into that, um, I'm just going to give you a little rundown on my portfolio. Pretty much today's Sunday, so the market opens up tomorrow. Can't wait. For some reason, I'm excited. Um, um, I'm a student here in San Francisco, California at the Academy of Art University, studying to be a filmmaker. And um, you know, I'm just doing something different this semester. But I'm starting to get like addicted to just um, getting on my channel and pretty much going over my portfolio and and seeing how I, I'm able to grow and find new ideas and explore new worlds and because this is this is where I'm at now you know through this channel I, I'm being able to see things I haven't been able to see before and it's just it's just mind blowing but you know it kind of distracts me from studying so pretty much. Um, I'm caught up. I just got one more class to do, but pretty much um, I was just excited, you know, just thinking about it. Then, um, you know, I was like, finally got out of, you know, s some of the sectors that I'm doing, I'm just going over them. Pretty much just they're boring, but I just kind of, it's helping me to expand my mind, open it up, and being able to receive more new information, pretty much making my brain bigger. You know, where I can let more stuff in instead of not, it's so small, I can't, I can't let nothing else in because it's already packed jam. But I'm pretty much learning to open it, you know, through through uh, my, new, my new channel, my new concept, um, my new motivation, pretty much my journey on how I am my strategy to a million dollars. And it's simple. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so stress free now that I have this formula. It's like, you know, now it's kind of like all I gotta do is just play autopilot with it, and now I can think on other things, because I think that's the the most stressful thing for somebody is they they want to obtain a number, but it's like you know first design your system to get it, and then once you get that, then everything else is like oh that's all I gotta do. So pretty much now where I'm at, I'm just uh, my goal is to add a thousand. A month uh, to my portfolio and pretty much um, currently I have uh, 77 assets under management as you can see over here uh, I pretty much you know I keep these currencies I just on the watch list just to look out see how they I'm just really curious about Bitcoin you know where if it'll fall as you know zero again if it falls um, I mean, within reason, I say like a hundred dollars. I don't, or even if it's still taken from a hundred, you know, I, I would, uh, I want to buy buy it when it's real low. But these two here, I remember when this is Ripple, it was at a dollar, and I had a, uh, a, a a partner from the military. He was hitting me up, Chinese dude, and he bought a thousand at a thousand Ripples. I think he bought it for like 10 cents or something then it went to a dollar and then he was like oh he made some money and then i remember in that same month it it went right back down again so you know i was just i i remember that with him but i was just like whoa you know because i was going to jump in here like i was trying to jump into the bitcoin when it first came out when it was like under under 100 bucks but i couldn't the system was janky i was i couldn't get a a brokerage that a brokerage exchange uh a, like for the cryptocurrency so that's why i lost out on it so i mean but now it's cool because now i'm learning like really the basics I'm, well, I'm still learning so because i'm i plan on be, becoming professional at this because i've noticed a lot of people are afraid you know and then you look at their portfolios you're like how many assets you got under management 10 you know people just stay 10 and they just load up all these 10 companies up their deposits are some of them they don't have companies that are paying deposit. I, the way they play in the game is, I don't know. It just 
it motivated me to to search for for answers and this is what I came up with pretty much I have these are my 77 assets under management as you can see starting off with Google Netflix Lockheed Martin uh, 3M Berkshire McDonald's Apple Badu Facebook pretty much I mean there's 77 of them once I hit a hundred I'm gonna go down the list um, of them and as you can see they range from a thousand all the you see the price range from highest to lowest in valuation so and that's how I started just brick by brick brick by brick by brick I'm building my this is pretty much I'm building my own paradise my paradise home my getaway home you know my way so that when I hit that ocean when I hit that island it's gonna be built for this is I'm designing it now I mean it's just when you design your own and you understand it okay as you can see it's all the way down to you know I got companies down to a dollar and what I do with my dividends is I reinvest them not in the same company but I look for other companies out there to reinvest in so I know a lot of people they're on the drip where they reinvest their dividends back in, into that same stock buying another share of it of that same that same share that that dividend is coming from it's called a drip but uh, on here I just pretty uh, pretty much I collect mines and I look for other companies so pretty much my dividends I'm buying other other companies other companies I'm looking for other index funds for other um, bonds ETFs and then REITs so pretty much those are my four what I invest in um, go back up pretty much as you can see I'm at 6k um, my all time you remember I don't look at one day one week one month three months one year I'm looking at everything and that's how I gauge everything is at the maximum so I could see it all you know people um, they choose to do that that's cool that's their prerogative but I want to see it all you know this is a little snapshot like every I mean you're gonna show me stuff in like one day one week one month three uh, it's so the the time span is so short you know anything can happen but in the alls you pretty much can see pretty much how you're doing so overall I'm um I'm up I'm at 5.13 percent up 300 so I don't know if you remember I read the two dates I remember the most and I don't know a lot of people have been you know pay attention to their own analytics but I pretty much October 1st was the end of the peak It peaked all the way to the, there, and then it started just nose diving from there until it hit there. So in in this time, for me it was so I was so nervous and just everything was just so crazy. But I know when it hit right here, I was like, man, I'm about to lose it all because I wasn't that much invested, you know. Because each month um, I deposit something into this account. Or, you know, I do a hustle just to just to build it, and then when it came from um, December twenty fourth was the second date, so first of October. So pretty much, I'm gonna look at this year and see what you know. Pretty much gauge, like learn about this is pretty much a bear market right there. Now look, it's going bull. So. What else? Oh, my strategy for 2019, 60% um, socks, which is now um, in, I got two categories for the stocks now. Uh, the first category is fast growth valuation with no dividends. Those are like your Googles, Netflix, and then there's slow growth validation with dividends. Those are like 3MM, uh, Lockheed Martin, so I think Apple pays a dividend but they're pretty much fast growth valuation I consider them slow growth with with dividends so pretty much there's two categories so you know it depends on like the month or what companies are up or what companies are for discount that I'll probably do a 30 30% uh, 30 uh, fast growth valuation with no dividends and the other 30% uh, slow growth valuation with dividends so 
now I have stocks in that come in two categories that I'm starting to see like a pattern of. And then um, I'll, I will invest 30% in index funds, 5% in bonds, ETFs, and then 5% in REITs. So let's jump into it. This is the cannabis sector. So pretty much there's no parts to this. There's just five companies. Tomorrow, um, I'll be going over the tobacco company, tobacco sector. And I'll give you five tobacco companies. So let's get into it. The cannabis sector. The first company is Tilray. Okay, let's look at the five year. As you can see, fairly new, uh, listed on July 19th, 2018 at $23.05, peaked on October 12th, 2018 at $148.30, currently in a bear market, uh, current market price $76.43. About Tilray Incorporated engages in the research, cultivation, production, and distribution of medical cannabis and cannabinoids. Its products include dry cannabis and cannabis extracts. The company was founded on January 24th, 2018, and is headquartered in Na Nanaimo, Canada. The current CEO is Brenda Kennedy, employees 245 headquarters, Nanaimo, Canada, founded in 28, fairly new, last year. Market cap, 7.12 billion. Wow, that's almost large cap. P.E. ratio, not listed. Dividend yield, not listed. 50% buy, 50% hold. So, Okay, that's the first cannabis company. The second cannabis company is... Canopy Growth. Oh, I spelled that wrong. There it is. Okay, let's look at Canopy Growth. As you can see, another fairly new uh, company listed on May 24th, 2018. Peaked on September 7th. 2018 at $51.53 currently coming out of a bear market going into a bull so market price $47.49 about Canopy Growth Corp engages in the production and sale of medical cannabis the company offers products including oils and concentrates soft gel capsules and hemp it focuses on the treatment of chronic pain seizures muscle spasms, nausea, and loss of appetite. The company was founded by Bruce Lin Tun on August 5th, 2009 and is headquartered in Smith Falls, Canada. The current CEO is Bruce Linton Mark Z. Kulin, employees 1,033, headquarters, Smith Falls, Canada, founded in 2009, market cap 10.64 billion, so that's a large cap. P.E. ratio not listed, dividend yield zero. Buy 89%, sell 11%. Wow, these are these just look different because I'm not used to this straight line. This sector is for, fairly new, so I'm definitely uh, investing in it. Kronos Group is the third cannabis company. Let's go to the five year. As you can see, it's also brand new. Uh, listed on February 27th, 2018 um, at $7.55. Currently, it's in its peak at $21.32. That's the current market price and the current peak. Man, Canada is, is rocking and rolling. They got the cannabis sector on lockdown. Kronos Group Incorporated engages in the production and sale of cannabis in federally legal jurisdictions, including Canada and Germany. 
Its portfolio includes Peace Naturals, Original BC, OGBC, and Whistler Medical Marijuana Company, WMMC. The company was founded by Lorne Michael Gertner and Paul Rosen on August 21st, 2012, and is headquartered in Toronto, Canada. The current CEO is Michael Gorenstein, employees 107, headquarters Toronto, Canada, founded in 2012, market cap 3.80 billion, PE ratio not listed, dividend yield zero, buy 57%, hold 29%, sell 14%. So that's the third cannabis company. The fourth is Apria. I think I said that right. Apria. Okay, let's go to the five year. As you can see, there's no dividend yields for these cannabis companies. Um, or no dividends, I should say. Um, the Apria was listed on November 2nd, 2008 at $12. Currently, Looks like it's coming out of a bear market into a bull. Current market price, $9.58. About Afria Incorporated engages in the production and supply of medical cannabis. Its products include cannabis capsules, oral solutions, concentrate syringes, and tetra hydro cannabinol and canna Benoidoyo Vaporizers. The company was founded by Cole Ka wow. Kakaya Bilani and John Servini on June 22nd, 2011, and is headquartered in Leamington, Canada. The current CEO is Victor Newfield, employees 300, headquarters, Leamington, Canada, founded 2011, market cap 2.40. 2.40 billion PE ratio 33.56 dividend yield not listed wow so pretty much all the cannabis uh, companies are from Canada and last but not least is Aurora Cannabis I currently own a share of uh, Aurora Cannabis because I like the stats better than the other ones but um i'm still looking at tilray but i know it, it tilray was crazy so see i like this more the, it's been around more it's got more of a history um it was listed aurora cannabis was listed on july 10th 2014 at for 45 cents you see how it just and then it peaked It peaked at on January 26, 2018 at $10.81. So as you can see, currently coming out of a bear market, current market price, $7.05. Um, I bought a share at $6.07. My The current uh, equity in it is $7.05, which is, I'm up 98 cents. So... About Aurora Cannabis Incorporated Common Shares, also called Aurora Cannabis, is a Canada-based company engaged in the production and distribution of medical cannabis. The firm is vertically integrated and horizontally diversified across every key segment of the value chain, from facility engineering and design to cannabis breeding and genetics research, cannabis and hemp production, derivatives, home cultivation, wholesale, and retail distribution. Its purpose built facilities which integrate technologies across all processes are are defined by automation and customiz customi customization. The company also produces and sells indoor cultivation systems and hemp related food products. Aurora Cannabis was founded by Terry Booth and Steve Dobler on December 21st, 2006 and is headquartered in Edmonton, Canada. The current CEO is Terry Booth, employees 967, headquarters Edmonton, Canada, founded in 2006, market cap 
0.04 billion PE ratio not listed dividend yield zero so there you have it those are the five cannabis companies and the total investment for th for these five cannabis companies comes out to a hundred and sixty one dollars and eighty seven cents in conclusion Tilray, one share of Tilray is $76.43, dividend yield zero. Canopy Growth, Can one share of Canopy Growth is $47.49, dividend yield zero. Cronus Group, one share of Cronus Group is $21.32, dividend yield zero. Ap Apria, one share of Apria is $9.58, dividend yield zero. Aurora Cannabis, one share of Aurora Cannabis is $7.05, dividend yield zero. Outro. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Like if the content was inspiring for you. And share this information with other stock market investors. Also, for anybody out there that's looking for beats, I sell beats. Um... I'm pretty much the money that I make from selling uh, these beats that I make, I pretty much invested into the stock market. So here's a little s sample of uh, a beat I made five years ago, but it's still relevant till today. Yeah. Bugatti Skyline Productions. Until next time, let your compound interests make you a millionaire.